Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of converting units. This is standard 6.4H in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 27 off the 2021 released STAR test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a marathon race, and it is 26 miles, 385 yards. We need to change all of that into yards. Now, this might look a little bit strange, but it's because the largest unit is miles, and it is 26 miles, which is a really long distance, but then it's a little bit more than 26 miles, and it's not enough more to where it's an extra mile to make it 27 so the next largest unit is going to be yards. So that's why you have that mixed measurement there, because it's 26 miles plus a little bit more. Most people think of it as 26.2 miles, but to be technical, it's going to be 26 miles, 385 yards. So we need to turn all of this into yards. Nice thing is, is the second measurement is already in yards. So we need to take our 26 miles, we're going to change this into yards. And then we need to add our 385 yards, which is already in yards, and we're good. That's going to be our answer in yards. So really, the only thing we need to do is to change our 26 miles into yards. So 26 miles equals how many yards? Well, in order to do that, we need to know what's the conversion between miles and yards? And if you look on your mathematics chart, the formula chart at the front of your star test, the one that's got the rulers on either edge, you're going to see that one mile equals 1,760 yards. So that is going to be our conversion. We also get one mile equals 5,280 feet, but we're not dealing with feet. So let's just look at this right here. That's going to be our most useful conversion here. And so we need to figure out with miles and yards, are we going to multiply or are we going to divide? Well, let's just draw a picture real quick. So if you're going to take your one mile, say our one mile is right here, and you're going to split it up into yards. So I'm going to draw a little yards right there. That's one yard, that's two yards, that's three yards, all the way over here to where I have a total of 1,760 yards. That's a lot of yards in one mile. So imagine drawing 1,760 little boxes. And then if I did that for one mile, I've got to do that for 26 miles. So you're thinking, oof, we are definitely going to need to multiply. And that is correct. When we go from a larger unit to a smaller unit, and we're doing conversions, we're always going to multiply. So let's take our... 1,760 miles, 60 yards, excuse me, and our 26 miles, and let's just do basic multiplication. So 6 times 0 is 0. 6 times 6 is 36. 6 times 7 is 42. Add that 3 back in is 45. 6 times 1 is 6. Add the 4 back in is 10. So I've got 10, 5, 60. Get rid of those two. I'm going to put a 0 right there, and we're going to start in the tens place because we're starting with a 2, which is really a 20. 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 6 is 12. 2 times 7 is 14. Add that 1 back in is 15. 2 times 1 is 2. Add that 1 back in is 3. Now we simply need to add 0, 6, 7, 5, 4. So it looks like I've got 45,760, and you're thinking, oh, I'm close. This kind of works here. Maybe I just messed it up. But remember our original. We had to do our 26 miles into yards. Remember we had that 385 yards left over? So now we need to add those two back up. 45,760, 385. That's going to get you 5. 14, 10, that's 11, 5 and 1 is 6, 46,145, and our answer is B.